Hello, I'm Seema and welcome to part 5 of the chapter Thermodynamics. I thought before we move on with our study of thermodynamics and since I have already mentioned the first law of thermodynamics in part 4 of the videos, it is now time to just briefly introduce all the laws of thermodynamics. There are four laws of thermodynamics, the zeroth law, the first law, second law and the third law. They are known by their numbers. The zeroth law is the first one. It actually gives you an idea about uh, heat. So it says or about energy. It says that if two systems are in thermodynamic equilibrium with a third one, then they have to be in thermodynamic equilibrium with each other. That is, if A and C have the same internal energy and B and C also have the same internal energy, they have the same relation with each other, then these two would also, A and B would also have the same relation with each other. They would also have the same uh, internal energy if we are talking of internal energy. So if two systems are in thermodynamic now, for example, there are three beakers lying side by side and they are all sealed and they, there is no work being done, only heat is being exchanged. And these three beakers are in contact with each other. The walls are such, you could imagine them to be uh, as if you have, you know, one huge beaker which has three chambers and we have water in all the three. Now, if the A, B and C, now these are thermally conducting walls between. So the water present in A will have the same temperature as C because these are thermally conducting walls and heat has a way of always traveling from higher temperature to lower temperature. So even if initially they had different temperatures, now they have achieved equilibrium. So now they are at the same temperature. Whatever the temperature is, if A and C have the same temperature and B and C also have the same temperature, they both have the same internal energy now then A and B, although they are not directly related to each other here through any wall, but they still have the same internal energy or the same amount of heat. This is what you understand by the zeroth law. Now come to the first law of thermodynamics. We just did it in the previous video. I'll just repeat the statement. The mathematical statement of the first law of thermodynamics is delta U is equal to Q plus W. And since we've already done this, I'm taking this part. The energy, what is the statement? That the energy of an isolated system is constant. It is also known as the law of conservation of energy. And it means that the energy of a system remains conserved. However, be the whatever be the initial and the final states, the total energy of the system remains conserved, especially if you're talking of an isolated system. So if you take the universe to be an isolated system, we know from our knowledge, the entire universe, there's nothing beyond the universe. So if there is nothing beyond the universe, or of course, these days, um, the metaphysics students, they're talking about parallel universes and all, but I would not like to go into that. They are just theoretical physics. Let us come to the practical ones that we know of. So we believe that outside the universe, there's nothing. So the universe, if you imagine the entire universe to be your system of observation, then it is an isolated system. And if the universe is an isolated system, then whatever energy changes are taking place in the universe, they are constant. So we say the energy of the universe itself is constant. And therefore, it is also known as the law of conservation of energy. We now come to the second law of thermodynamics. You know, there is a, a term that I'll be introducing, entropy. For now, for you to understand just this much is enough, that entropy is chaos. You remember when I talked about the gaseous state, that molecules are randomly moving, they're here and there, they go wherever they want. It is that kind of a chaos, which is known as entropy. So, and I also told you when you increase the energy of the molecules of a gas, the molecules gain kinetic energy and they start running around even faster. So the chaos is even more. Whatever this chaos is, the term given to it is entropy. And it says that the entropy of the universe is constantly increasing. The chaos is constantly increasing. So we will do the details of the second and third law because both second and third laws, they deal with the uh, concept of entropy. We'll be dealing them as we study thermodynamics further. But right now, I just want you to have an overview of the laws. 
So it says that the entropy of the universe is constantly increasing or equivalently, that is the other alternative definition that you can give is that the perpetual motion of machines is impossible. It is impossible that a machine continuously keeps moving. The details of this we will understand as we do the topic. We now come to the third law, that the last law of thermodynamics. This concerns with entropy again. Entropy, I said, is chaos. You remember, I introduced the concept of absolute zero. Absolute zero is minus 273 degrees Celsius or zero Kelvin temperature. At this temperature, when we did uh, our Boyle's law and Charles law and uh, the gas laws, I told you that at this temperature, the volume, or uh, according to Charles law, the volume of um, a substance or any uh, any matter, any gas or any substance, it should become zero at absolute zero, right? So if it becomes zero at absolute zero, we said that at absolute zero, matter does not exist because if anything has no volume, the first requirement for matter is that it should have volume. So it is. it brings you somewhat to the same conclusion that if we go on decreasing the energy of the system, the entropy goes on decreasing. So if you bring it to absolute zero, the entropy should become zero. And we already know that entropy is constantly increasing in the universe and internal energy is the law of conservation of energy tells us that energy is constant. Therefore, the entropy coming to zero is also impossible. So if entropy to be zero is impossible then it means that matter can never be brought down to absolute zero temperature it can the temperature can never be brought down to absolute zero that is what the third law tries to indicate that it concerns the entropy of an object at absolute zero temperature and it implies that it is impossible to cool a system all the way to absolute zero because at absolute zero you would expect the entropy to be zero which never happens and therefore matter cannot exist at absolute zero. So this was a brief you know, idea of all the laws of thermodynamics and with the next video we will continue with our study of thermodynamics. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye bye for now.